I think the camera ran out um, before. I'm just going to finish off now uh, to Harold Link in um, Thailand. Uh, Harold, um, these are the ships that I've got a choice of picking. That's 13 million for that one, but they get bigger and wider. Um, so there you go. Um, that's the. This is the jet engine of General Electric. The um, um, GE 6000 LM um, jet turbine generator. That's the latest. This was in the Air Force One Trump's plane and uh, in the latest 777 jets. So this is um, this is all I wanted to show you, but the film ran out. And um, those are, are, these are for sale. These ships, and so I can pick anyone I want for the project. But this shipping company where I'm gone, they can modify all these ships and fit everything to it if I want to. But they're ready to go. That's what I'm basically saying, Harold. They're ready to go, and I want to. Go down that track because I don't want to. I want to see how long they take to build the ship. Uh, but they still have to build the turbines at the same time. I can get the tank companies to build the tanks while they're building the turbine and the ship, the new ship. Uh, so if they can take less than a year to build the ship, and the uh, six months, I'll give them six months to build the ship and the whole structure. That'll be good. Harold Link in Thailand. I um, just want to um, um, say this to you. Please rethink your contract you had with me. I'm proficient in what I do with legal documents. And I have the power now for any untoward tampering or interfering with our contract or with this project. That's why I put it online because everybody knows where it comes from. And I have to ask you one more time to clean the slate and start a new contract again and disregard the one I've written all over. I want to see what your view is from now on. Now you've seen what my views are extensive. They run right through the whole world on what I do as corporate business, King's Bench Court, authority, legal authority and jurisdiction of what I'm going to be doing in the sea. You made mention of the uh, control of the seabed, that's corporate. I'm there for the people. I'm not there for John one hour alone. No, my 60% goes to the people. I don't know where your 40% is going to go, but certainly I'm telling you, my 60% dollar goes to the people of the world who needs it. This project is for communities that are struggling because the system of the Queen, the system that you're in, is only looking after its self-interests. I say that openly because I know how that works. Okay, I know the Queen's business. She's running our business and we're about to take it off her and take it off Trump. America, Israel, all those companies with the Rothschild banks are corrupted and fraud. We're taking our control titles, authority, legal authority of the king back to where it's supposed to be, the king's common law people of the whole world. The commercial side of contracts was created by these kings for us, myself, as being one of the indigenous natives, real indigenous natives, not Maori, homemade history, but the traditional native <coughs> history of title to these lands 
the same as any other indigenous native in other countries. And Africa is getting his country back now because it's only on lease, Harold. All these titles that are making money are only on lease. The lease is defunct. But I put the bill in before Trump changed the laws, you see. I've caught them before, during and after the act was performed in front of the whole world. He's telling the whole world about their own troubles. And he uses tweet, tweets, Twitter and Google, YouTube and Facebook to get his message across. He's going straight into where we are. The people are well posting factual evidence and he's getting caught up in that. And the corporates don't like it because they're trying to be private when he's being private and public. That's where he's getting caught out. I put these videos on there to show everyone watching Facebook and my side where Trump is going to. He's in the same hole as all the other presidents, controlled by the elite families of Rothschild and the Queen. Why is the Queen turning England upside down as a German? Us German, Scottish, German. Yet we've got the kings of Scottish, German as well. King William the Fourth, Scottish, German in Scotland. Now, where does your authority come from, Trump? Whose authority are you using? I hope you're not using our king, because if you're using it, you're getting it from these Maoris over here, through this queen and their governor generals and prime ministers, John Key. If John Key's a fraud, like I'm saying he is, then the whole lot's fraud. That's where it's going to fall down the house of cards on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street. All those people there who lost the case against him. This one is going to be the biggest, the hardest to fall. The bigger you are, the harder you fall. That's about to happen. Harold, Link, I'm just telling you the truth. Because Maui statue, he's watching everything. He's watching the fracking, all the Tesla vaults flying around the sky and killing everybody, burning this and that, 9-11. All that is man-made by these elite thugs that are running corporate businesses, usurping the king's authority on the queen and her royal, so-called royal family that's in tatters. It's going around as if it is the real authority when it's not. That's why they don't care, because it's not theirs in the first place. The land's not, not the queen's in the first place, belongs to the king. The king owns everything. He rules, not the queen. They're trying to make a queen, defunct queen, that's left Britain and gone to the EU Parliament to try and make her own private business in King William the Third, King William the Third's Dutch Brussels country. That's our country. She's tampering with our oil. She's tampering with that. She's tampering with all the gold that's missing from the king's they put that together in Westminster Magistrate Court and Edinburgh Magistrate Court. It was done in our time period. First commercial contracts. Harold and everybody watching this video, and especially my staff in England, in Scotland, and here in New Zealand. <coughs> and not quite in America, but Daryl Payne is there. He's doing a, 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 a great job with the flag there, uh, with Trump. He's notified Trump, I'll give him that much. But it's still um, a hard basket, um, unless you're an American. I'm not an American. I'm not an English or a Scottish either. I live here in New Zealand. They've got to do their job there, and you've got to do your job in America. 
Gal, you've got all the instruments now. You're a creditor, as I'm saying. Oh, somebody's on the phone. Hello? Hello. Yeah, hi. Can I have a word with John? Uh, what is it about? Yeah, hi. My name is Jessica, sir. We are calling from Lee Away Depot. No. Yeah, No, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested at the moment because I, I, I've got to read through everything to see what it is. Thank you very much. Yeah, I want to read because my, my phone is being monitored by police. And I've had a lot of trouble people ringing me up that, that, had, uh, that things are not quite looking right. Uh, so I want to look at it again and, uh, and, and I'm, I'm going to leave that aside for now. Okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. There's scams going on 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 phones. They're ringing up older people about this and that. There's TVs going, and they're going around using TVs to draw people in to their bank accounts. So I saw that one, and that's why I said the, the police are on the phone watching, and they probably are. The police are just across the road from me. I'm, I'm thankful I'm here, and they know I'm here, or anybody knows I'm here. So I feel much uh, better in a position like that. Anyway, Harold, um, uh, like I'm saying, my staff are learning fast that they have to be corporate just like you. We are corporate with this flag. That's a corporate flag. If I talk like that, I have a legal right and an authority and jurisdiction to talk straight with that flag, straight anywhere, because it gives us free passage through the world of commercial contracts that I can make with anybody. That's why I'm pulling people into contract with me, and these other Maoris are pushing them out of contract with themselves. They're trying to, a lot of people in the world don't understand, or some do, that the birth certificate is birth with maritime on the port of a country. It's come out of the Admiralty from Britain on the sea and dropped in on the port. That's the bar, the sandbar, um, there to come across the sandbar in the court onto our land. That's what I'm saying. I'm standing there on this side of the bar and saying, who are you on the other side of the bar? How'd you get there? That's what I'm saying to the courts here. How did you get there? Who, who gave you authority to be there on my land? That's what I'm saying, Harold. I don't say that anywhere in the world with this flag. If I go with the flag to America, I'll say the same thing there. Okay, I'm there because they're practicing our law. King's bench court law. Martial law. They're using it for their own private interests. Harold, private investment interests. Now the people who don't understand how that works is that it's locked into a system, same as me, on, on the gold card or the wins with an income um, uh, pension. All the pensions are, are run the same way. They give you a little bit, they give you 26,000, that's like me, 26,000 out of my own trust, Sergei Trust, that's what they call it, but I'm calling it me. My trust, that's why I won my case. I said, where's my trust? Who's running? Who's signing for me on the other side? Right? And that, they didn't want to know about it in the court. Well, this time I'm going there. As soon as I get this thing cranked up at the start of the line, I'm going straight back into that court. And I'll open the whole thing up with that court screen. This time. <coughs> okay, Harold, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Legally. And so... For the people watching this video, or people who don't understand, or I watched Sasha Stone, um, he's, he's had excellent, um, excellent videos, just recent, just this week, but he still hasn't got titles. You need titles to talk about how it got like that. Why did it go down that side? Those birth certificates were instruments for us the king's common law people. 
That's what they were put together for. That lot of pirates hijacked it. They hijacked the churches, they hijacked all the birth certificates, they hijacked all the memorials in the world and stuck them in England in the museum. And they stuck my Maui statue right there. I'm using him to go and nail the lot up to a cross that they're going under, the church cross. I'm going to nail them to the cross with the Maui statue standing in London. In 1868, Queen Victoria took my family's memorial stone rock off East Island on a topaz, his, uh, his Majesty's ship, to England and hid him for over a hundred years for his intelligence, higher intellect off East Island as if she owned it. And then got the media to write out stories about history, about how she is in that family. I'm yet to see one of those royal families stand in front of me and say, which part of me are you? Which bit of me is you? Well, I can say this. My Irish family, Cosgrove and Rogan, in Belfast, Northern Ireland, is the other white bit of me. Hmm? They happen to be the Patrick, St. Patrick's buried there in Belfast. That's my family right there. I'm waiting for one of them to hook up to me. They won't. I, I've got to go there and find them. They came here, but they won't acknowledge their part there. Even Jamie, my, my, my friend Jamie Patrick. That's where her family comes from. But no one's investigating where they came from. I know mine come from East Island and Variety Island. I know that. That's the, the name Wanwa comes from there. Well, the Patrick name is the one holding all the money. Why? So why is the Patrick family here not well off? The Stuarts are. they got all the farms up north. Up here, up this end. I know where they are, sort of. And those titles are Manukau titles. Those are these Chief Waikato's titles. That's why they claim that name Waikato Chief up here. He's not, he's from down Cambridge to Cambridge, England, where he went to school to learn documents, legal title transfers of land. He sold this whole country to King George IV. See, I'm telling a true story. If Sasha Stone is watching this video, and all those other people in America, take a leaf out of this book. All the things I'm saying started you off in your country. It got you going. Now ask yourself, where did your authority come from to get you where you are? You're going to end up on these kings in our time. Only as far back as 1820. Don't go back any further because there was no banks, no contracts of commercial contracts in commercial banks around at that time. Mortgages, liens. They only came out with these kings. And King William IV put them on New York Stock Exchange. So the Rothschilds dumped everybody's birth certificates on the stock exchange and started making money for themselves. That all belongs to us. That's why there's a 970 million trillion trillion pound note. Right back to 1820, 1823, King George IV and this Waikato chief, Te Rawaikato Wharehere Manukau, Paramount chief, in my family, my wife's side, ex-wife, Carol Mihinu. Okay, that's her side in Te Arawa here, Te Arawa and also Okarari and at Arapuni. The name fits Punga Punga Marae, or they changed the name to Pohara Marae, these, these Maoris, these, these, these pirates. Everybody I call a pirate is a pirate. If you're a pirate and I call you a pirate, it's because you're pirating these king's laws with the queen. The queen is the biggest pirate out, see? She's flipped out and gone to the EU Parliament, still prancing around in England, might be dead now, she's got a, got a double there, as if she stole the same queen and this dumb British people still follow her and throw her money, everything like that, instead of questioning who the hell she is. Okay? They're their own worst enemy, the same as the marriage, their own worst enemy here. They can't get anywhere because they are owned by these corporates. 
You see, Harold? I know all of that. It's the same with Thailand. It's no different as Philippines. I learned a lot when I went to Philippines twice. I learned how those people, poor people in their own country, are poor when they shouldn't be. I'm going to change all of that when I go back because my wife and her kids are very poor and they work for peanuts. Right? They work for peanuts and they can't get out of it because they're locked into a system where these Mongols, pirates, are using our laws. These, those laws belong to us, Harold. All the admiralty, the, the, the maritime laws, they belong to us, the contract partner to the king, not the queen. You're on the queen's side. I'm on the king's side. you got your king in Thailand. He's subjected to British law, which is the law that I'm exercising my jurisdiction over anybody in the world that can't put a title in front of me with a chief and a king on it. Show me. Show me anything. So anyway, just getting back to this for these people watching, uh, what I'm saying about why no one can fight the system. Actually it's impossible to try and take them to court to, other than shoot them. But, but they're shooting you before they, you shoot them. They're taking all your guns away, taking all your laws, your rights, your everything, your kids, your everything away from you. By these people working in the councils, working the police, working, they're getting paid to do it. It's like paid protesters. They are paid protesters, protesting against the public, the king's people, about anybody breaking their laws. They're second-hand third-party laws, Harold. I made the video for you because the other one ran out of space. This is part two of the first part one of this to you, um, message to you and to the people watching um, uh, my videos on the latest ones where we go with this power project for the kings, common law people of the world, Sasha Stone. You should be watching this of what I do with this tidal turbine project. Harold would have had it for me and him as being mine and his, John and Harold. But Harold would have, I know, in my personal experience, I would know that he would dish it out because it's no use to him having a lot of money. He would, he would give it to the right people. And that's what I like about Harold. Harold, that's to you. And um, I'm doing the same. Only thing is I'm making mine public of what I do with 60%, he's 40% would go to more or less elite people who can afford a lot of money to buy shares and keep control of the whole of this project. I wasn't going to let that happen, if at all, just to get a million pounds from Harold. No, I'm just saying he was the only one in the whole world that bothered to take an interest in what I'm doing with this total turbine. It's been going around for a long time, but no money. The idea is perfect, but no money. It's got all the hallmarks of kings in their jurisdiction, in the sea, in the land, in anything. Banks, the lot. This has got it. No one in the world would go near any of that authority to get this much out of putting something together under somebody's authority. Harold? Um, so, um, Sasha Stone and, and Daryl Payne and, and uh, Andrew Little Gordon and um, um, Jackie Little Gordon in Scotland and Matt Taylor in England, um, Joel Payne's in California, uh, Cecile Hood's here in Auckland, um, Karaka, Auckland, and uh, a few others that follow me. But I'm just saying my management team and <coughs> um, Rias um, in um, Toronto, Kevin Rias, um, um, a Vikings man, very good, very good. He, he's like Harold, very intelligent man in hydrogen. So uh, to you, Sasha Stone, uh, and all your followers, um, I watch your videos, very good, very good. I, I must commend you what you're doing. But 
you must understand that I'm standing here talking to you and the world of the authority of kings that put all the things that you've got problems with together. We've got a flag here in the room there. That's a king's flag given to my chiefs for the people in the world. And that's the stakeholders in this tidal turbine. You claim it. You must claim it. All you people watching must claim this tidal turbine. And before these elites jump on and get it and, and steal it. I put it there so that everybody knows who's going to steal it. I don't think Harold would have stolen it, but certainly he would have had control on the corporate side of his experience as a corporate uh, billionaire. Uh, on his profile. Okay, so um, I'm saying, Harold, I admire you for that, but I wish you would be straight up with me and tell me your intentions um, clearly um, so that I'm not going to um, um, <clears throat> get in trouble later in lawsuits and courts and everything because as far as I'm concerned, I can knock anything on the head when it comes to a king's authority. I'll say what I say, put it that way, I'll say what I say with um, authority, uh, otherwise I wouldn't do it. I'll, I'll pick who I want to work with and I can work with you but I need you to be honest, that's all, that's all I ask um, with me and uh, tell me exactly what you want to do. Um, not uh, not uh, try and corporate take over because this will take over anything with this power note if anybody uh, starts playing around with it. Uh, I'm warning everybody uh, watching that if anybody uh, tampers with this title to buy project or anything I've got online because the British are watching, the good British, not Theresa May and her thugs, I say that um, uh, because they're going down the wrong track. Um, uh, they should have cleared up that uh, Brexit straight off. It, it was a clear cut. There's no need to roll on and on and on, on, rake more money in. Uh, so they, they're making their own big mess. When you have a vote, it's a vote, that's it. That's how you, that's how you do lotto. You win lotto, it's a clean cut. That's it. Put your thing in and done. And that, you don't go to uh, uh, say, no, I that wasn't right, we're going to have another go. That's what they're doing. They have another go. Same as the United States are saying, oh, no, it wasn't right because we're going to have another go. You, know, you fellows are um, not that proficient. Not, 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 you, you don't, no one trusts you when you do that. No one trusts your voting system. No, it's, it's, it's a rigor. No one trusts anything you do. It's the same with Trump. He's, he's good on one side, on the other side, he's in a legacy of fraud and corruption by the last one he took over from. It's, it's, he's rolling it on. He's rolling it on. And they have libeled each other. They're, they're, they're accessories to their own fraud in legacy of corruption and fraud. They can't get out of it. They can't get out of it. Uh, Harold, they can't get out of it. You go to court, you lose on this, on this, with this. With this flag beside me, you lose if they don't answer me. If I say something in public and there's no answer, if you stay silent, Harold, that's the worst indictment on anyone. If they don't say anything, you lose. Whatever I say was right, because you're not there to defend yourself. Right? If you don't answer me, then there's something that you're not telling me. I need you to tell me, because I'm a decent man. But I don't like silence because it kills the goose that laid the golden egg. That's what that does. You've got a lot of information from me. That's why I'm sticking it all around so everybody can see it. What you get, everybody's getting to see as well because they can claim it if I say so. But people who buy a 25 pound share can claim everything I'm saying online. That's how it works. They register 25 pound share. They don't have to pay straight away, as long as you get the phone number as an ID. The phone number, the mobile phone number, you're in. There's an unpaid creditor for all that I'm claiming back from the Queen and the Rothschild and every corporate business linked to them. 
arrow. That's big. That's worth more than a million pounds, but your million, I was not testing you out with your million. I was saying it would have started us off. That's all I needed to start us off was a million because I'll tell you what, even with $10 I'll make it go a long way, I'll make it one pound go a long way, but a million I'll make it go further. Watch what I do with a million, Harold. Watch what I can do with a million. I'll get all that money back. Right? But you make me sign your document for some reason. It's taken me a long time to think what that reason is. I'll keep that one under my belt. But you let me know, Harold. Next week, I'll give you another week. From today, the 8th, 15th. By the 15th, I'm hoping that you will write to me this time because all your emails to me are intentions to go in partnership 60 40. 60 to me, 40 to you. Nothing wrong with that, Harold. It was just the way you were. Just the way you were. That's got me beat. I got, um, I got authority, I got um, good legal advice. I got accountants, chartered accountants advice. I've got my own um, um, partners in business advice. I got public advice. I got that much advice and then I stuck my advice on top of it, that it's still a good deal between me and you. So I'm just hoping that you would just adjust a couple of things. There's plenty in it. There is no need to go over the top and try and control it, because I put too much effort in this, Harold. I put too much years of research into this to just let it slip away at a signature without good reason. Without good reason, because I tell you what, it's worth a lot in the right hands. Okay, so that's that, that's all. Uh, I just want to answer this question uh, that might be um, people. Uh, like Sasha Stone, uh, like um, um, uh, Ritz, that woman Ritz that Daryl Payne is with, uh, Yvonne I think it is, uh, Ritz, um, uh, they're, they're, they're quite helpless with all their documents because they still belong to a patent right owner. All the do legal documents belong to a patent right owner. They don't belong to the king, they belong to the queen. That's why it's very difficult for them to... That, that's a third party. Everyone that's on the other side of me is a third party. The only second party in a first and a second party is Matt Taylor in England. And I don't care what anybody says about him. It's him, the man that carrying the flag there. The same as Daryl Payne in California, carrying their flag around. They have a legal right to carry their flag around until I get it going. They, they're priming themselves up with it as creditors. Judgment creditors. Straight online. Everything is done online now. You can do a contract straight online, straight to the High Court of Admiralty, without even going there. If I put a two-hour contract together into the court for Cook Street, the judges make a decision in two hours. If those people don't turn up there, he'll rule. And that's the end of that. I just need the money to pay a court for 2.715 billion to recover from Cook Street and a trillion on top of their head each day against the Queen. That's what I've charged. It's in ANAX, ANAX invoice company, Britain. They keep sending me the bill. I always keep paying them the bill until I tell them go after it. Okay, you got that, Harold? Anex has my bills against all these people. The Queen, it's in there. Okay, they're just sitting there waiting for me to give the go ahead. 
and the House of Cards falls right down because the British have a stake in this, Harold. Everything I do belongs to Britain as well, the partner. They were the first partner. The kings are gone. I'm here for the kings as the first party now and someone I choose on the other end the second party of contract. Matt Taylor's got a contract there. Jackie Little Lord has got a contract in Scotland. Andrew, her husband, is English. He's with Matt. Back in Westminster, Paddington. Westminster Magistrate Court. Bank. That's how the bank started in a magistrate court of maritime law in there to the Admiralty law from there to here. Got the picture? Sasha, that's how it works. Follow the ship backwards, where it came from, which port and which birth certificate got on the boat and put its birth certificate here on this side of the bar, sandbar. Hmm? The port, portal, port, port, shipping port, airport. All the ports come under this king's port law. Okay, so that's how it works. I just want to say one more time. It's very difficult for you to take your best to get and get the money out of it. Good luck to you because it's got to come out of their court. You've got to get the money from there or go to the World Court. That's in Brussels. That's King William the Third. That's his jurisdiction, which is this flag's jurisdiction. Dutch flag. Mm -hmm. It's not a Maori flag. It's not given to Maoris. Maoris are flying the flag around. It's not a Maori flag. They got their own flag. That one was a red and black. Black is not good colour. Black is not good colour. Red and black. And the black seal on this flag is that black, the devil. They've got the devil on their flag. And it's in the parliament and wins offices. The government approved it as the flag of Maori, themselves in the mirror, Sasha. They are acting, looking in the mirror themselves. Maori are uh, <coughs> a graft of a DNA of the white man who came here with the pirates and screwed all the black men. The same in Africa and India, and before long you got them fighting against each other. The real ones against the homemade second-hand ones. That's where it's gone. All the second-hand ones have got the titles. Apart from Morris Baker, his name is Baker. There's others called Picker. It's the same Bakers, you see? Or Paraoni, Brown. It's the same Brown. The white man has changed himself, flipped over like a butterfly. He turned from a caterpillar into a fly and flew off. Hmm? Thin air. Banks operate the same way. Thin air. Law. Okay, so that's the way analogy I use. A caterpillar into a butterfly. And the butterfly doesn't last long. He's dead. I can see one flying around the trees there outside now. Alright? Uh, so that's why Maori can't get anywhere. If they keep going around with the Barry government and all the rest of it, all those documents they've got, they've got to go inside that government of Wellington, New South Wales. That's where they come from. Queen Victoria. The bastard Edwards line. That's King Itoto's line. He's dead now. He's gone, but he just hated King William's flag. I know, because I spent a lot of time with him. He supported me to a point of standing up himself as the chief. Well, there's a big long story to that. It just didn't get to me. It's still poor as, well, so well, 190 years ago. No further ahead because they're not commercially minded. They're not in this game. You're either in the game or not in the game. If you want to play this game, you have to go in it. It's no use throwing stones at it without any documents 
I use their documents, but I use my own as well. I use their documents against them, the Queen's documents against them, anyone in the row. Your name's here. It's stuck there. It's not going to go anywhere until I pull off the court hearing on you. You see, Sasha? <clears throat> it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work this one out. That Donald Trump and the Queen signed behind closed doors. That's the fashion. It, 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 it's theirs. looks at you every time. When there's a state visit, watch who goes. And it sounds like something else. Or opening a golf, new golf course. They're always doing business. They're doing business, signing documents around the King's Bank. Donald Trump got himself in trouble when he went to England, when the Queen says, I don't want you here. And he was going to Philippines. The Queen says, stay out, because she's got a finger in that Queen Victoria Trust. Our trust, 1848, Queen Victoria set up a trust for us, the Maori people, and Queen Victoria, Queen Victoria University in Auckland, well, Queen Victoria School. My daughter went to that school, right? My older daughter went to that school. And so all of those things, they were taking money and putting it into there and a few Maori colleges and, and grants and everything while everybody else didn't get anything. It was just for Maori, you see? It's more like racism in a, in a way that they only looked after Maori. That's why Pakehs here says, oh, look at those, those Maoris. But the Pakehs were getting everything. The Maoris were getting less and less. Their land slipped away because the Pakehs had it up here commercially to just get a piece of paper from the government and go get it. Mm -hmm. So they have become tenants now. You're all leaseholder tenants until you can break the cycle. I don't think anybody's going to break in a hurry without this flag to undo it. Stone. You need this flag. That's why I kept telling Daryl, Donald Trump needs this flag. Well, they're using it here in New Zealand. These Maoris here at Waitangi, Peter Peroni, this brown fellow with a Peter Peroni with, with a Maori sounding native name, didn't come from anywhere. It came from these white fellows. They're using that flag. And they get, they, I've already warned them. I opened that Marae in Waitangi. As a native court, they didn't know what I was doing there. Even Keith didn't know. He says, oh, you're never getting there. They actually let me in there because I'm holding on the history here. I'm here, not far from there. I'm only about 20 minutes away from Waitangi, here in Kerikeri. And all these parties will be watching what happens when one Maori is knocking the other Maori around. No, I'm knocking the documents around, not the Maori. I'm knocking their documents around. It's the documents that take the land. Not physically, it's the documents that do the trick. They're doing all the king's work for me. See, it's doing all the king's work for me. Sasha, all the king's work in the world, all his royal revenue, his prized possessions, his conquered items, chattels, property, banks, Everything the Rothschilds took returns. Okay, that's it. This is how you do it. If you want things to go back to the people, it's too hard for the people to go and battle one court is not the same as the other. They got different laws, but still the same admiralty. The Pope got rid of his admiralty law that they're using, but they're still using it as ignorant as ever. Because the Pope knew that there was too much fraud. That's why he got rid of it. We still have our Admiralty. They're getting the Admiralty from here, through these Maoris, that are running on the corporate side for these private corporations. They're going to get stung once they get Cook Street. They're going to lose everything. And I can tell you that right now on this video. They're going to lose everything. They're going to be subject to what? The king's people say, the queen's people, I can, I can pick who's the queen, just about all of them. Just about everybody in New Zealand is a queen's person, not a king. They wave the flag around for the king, the queen. 
they boot me off what I am right, the TT mark, because they're on the queen side, the devil side. Hmm? So that's why I don't go back there anymore, because now it's a commercial war. It's a commercial war, Sasha. Unless you've got this, I, I know um, um, Andrew Little Gordon has been following me for years, well before you came along. I, I wrote to you, and, and, and then you turned me off. Why did you do that for? Well, that's the worst thing you ever did, was turn me off. What for? You need me and this lady to do what you want to do to get the whole place back. You're going to get little pockets of this and that, and a long way to do it. This will do it overnight. This will literally shut down the whole world. But <clears throat> I just watch. I just watch who falls and who gets away and who, who, who what from here. Because this flag goes into Brussels, that's it. Into the World Court, and I'll go with this flag into the World Court with my management team and see what happens when I walk in there. Hmm? I don't need any marriage. I don't, in fact, I don't need them because they don't understand these documents of commercial titles. Nope. And they can't speak to them. They've got no titles to them. It has to go through this paramount chief of Waikato and that family and my family. You can't get anywhere without that. Follow the ship backwards from there to Hokianga and there's nobody talking like that. There's no one talking like that. They're all mixed up in their own history of events. Their ancestors made up. Their ancestors made their stories up and they're following those stories to their grave. That's, that's, that's where that goes. But to knock the contract right through the middle is this way. If you're going to pull them, you've got to pull them into their court. And if they don't turn up, that's it. That's it, Sasha. You can do it online without even going to court. I'm just setting it up from here, on my own, here. There's nobody around me, only God and the Maui section. That's it. Me and the internet. There. I said, I don't need a whole bunch of people because they wouldn't understand this. Well, it take too much. They wouldn't understand this tidal turbine thing as well. They wouldn't, they wouldn't understand how the building works. Okay? So you need uh, to, to keep doing what you're doing, but it takes a long time. It's going to be a long time. Andrew and Jackie know um, for certain um, that this is where it started from Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Everything in the world started from there. Start there. That's where the, the St. Mary's is there in, in Edinburgh. Right? Uh, Prince Philip, Greece, the shore, Edinburgh. Okay, well, that's all I want to say. I've got to go for my walk now. It's sort of gone longer. But um, Harold, one more time. To you, rethink your contract and rewrite it and send it to me. And I'll be glad to look at it again. And try it. This time. Okay, I've got everything costed out now. I'll say it this way. It should cost 20, 20 million US dollars just to get this tidal turbine thing on a ship ready to sail out here. That's my assessment of it, between 20 million and 50 million, you're still doing pretty well, or 20 million and 37 million, because that's how much turnover 500 megawatts puts out. 37 million at 75 dollars a kilowatt hour sold to the government in hydrogen, liquid hydrogen <coughs> um, fuel, and an engine generator to turn it back into electricity under the Auckland hub bridge connected up to the main cable there. Transformer can go straight in there and go north and go south straight there. I'm saying that because the generator, that one you wanted, the General Electric LM6000 um, turbine uh, jet generator um, is capable of 65 megawatts or more. That's the one you'd use, we'd use 
underneath. I haven't costed that in. I left it out. I've only gone for the 30,000 US dollars for 50 megawatt generator. You can't get any better than that. I've given 10 of those 500 megawatts. That's 3 million. 3 million US dollars for 10 50 megawatt hydro turbine generators. Pelton generators. Okay, they, they, they've got a bigger head on them. 17 meter 1700 meter head. Well, we just screw the pressure down to make it spin at the right, right frequency and regulate it. That's it. We put 10 of those around the wall, hook them in, and away they go. All water hydraulics. And the big one is ready to go on six floors. I'm going to leave the floors and the roofs open with the dry shaft going up spinning. And those big generators can come in bits and go in there and assemble on there and speed at the right frequency. They can go 400 revs a minute or 1000 revs a minute or 1500 revs a minute or 3000 revs a minute or 3600 revs, revs a minute. We can screw up or down the pressure of the water through there and when we use all the power in the turbine, we just turn on the air on the water and bang it up some more. You see, we've got the air to help to bang the turbine on the end. The relief pressure will go through the cross shaft out the end of the blade, 50 meter diameter blade, and push the blade around. There. Mm -hmm. Air over water pressure hydraulics. Okay, that, that's all. So that the the um, capital costs are sitting at the moment twenty million. That's what they're shipping. Not the one I'm building. Not the new one I'm building. This two hundred and twenty meter long ship, five million. That I've added that in. And a helicopter, a ten seat helicopter, one point three million. Those two are the main items, Harold, in this whole project right now. I've added up to 20 billion US dollars cost to build it, to put it on the ship, ready to come out. Any other costs are outside of that. Any other design, engineering and, and all that. The Chinese, some of them sell, they'll design it for free. I'm going to those people who design it for free. Harold? That's where I'm saving a lot of money. That's why I buy the ship and the helicopter because I'm saving a lot of money buying all the steel bulk and giving it to the tank people to bend up and bolt up. See? Now I want to see how much the ship is going to cost. Uh, the new one, especially designed with the two long rams on it. The big long hydraulic rams will lift the whole the whole turbine and shaft and everything's lying on a ship like that. What those two big long arms do on here, they go here, right? They pull the building this way and pull the other one this way and slide them together on the deck. They pull this away from the cab right in the right place of center of gravity and then we've got a cable, a winch here, going to the top of the building of, of the wheelhouse, ready to pull it, it's going to pull it like that, up, and these rams are going to go up and push that up there, like that, until it stops, it's got a, a stop on the back to stop there, and the cable is pulling it there as well, where the, where the rams are there, and the cable is there, pulling up on the cab. It's, the cab will be like that, pulling up like that. And the pipe will stand, the whole work, 60 meters, will stand right on the back of the ship. It will stand right on the back of the ship, like that. It's gone from there, 
there, or sitting behind the cab. It's sitting behind the cab. There's the cab or the ship, right? And those big hydraulic things shifted there, and the hydraulic ram pushed it up like that, and the ram ends up looking like that, okay? We've pushed it up like that, and the rope wire rope is up here like that. Got the picture? So that's that's really what I wanted to tell you. Um, the cost included the ship, 220 meter ship that's got um, 40, 39, 40, uh, 39, about 40,000 tons. Our whole turbine project is 25,000 tons of steel and everything. Everything's screwed in. All, all the generators are put together. They're put together in the tanks, right? The tanks are round, uh, up there. And, and the engines, the generators, the, the generators, the compressor and everything fitted in each tank, up like that, all laying out like that. And then they are spun around that way, and made longer on this with the pipes you can assemble on the, sh on the ship. So they're assembled on the ship and we're using the hydraulics to fit, slide everything in on the ship. Okay? It's all assembled on the ship. Once they're, once they're finished on the land, each thing will go on a, on a, on a truck and put there and slid on and locked. We can shift them with the hydraulics inside the um, buildings, the, the, we can run them remote and shift them around, shift everything around, okay? So that's, 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 that's this, that's this here. That's a, there's your generator, Harold. That's, that's 840 megawatts, Elstom, Elstom generator, and this is our, our, our turbine here. That's the one I'm going to build that we can use to run that. That, that's, sitting at um, 20, uh, 18, 18 meters. That's 21 meters, right? That's its real size, 21 meters. Alstrom, and this is 18 meters. And this is driving straight on that to spin this as fast as we want. And that's sitting, um, in, uh, that's sitting inside here at the bottom, one of these buildings here, right? Those buildings here, is, that, is at the bottom here. <clears throat> and um, um, these are your jet engine for the land and the power comes in a bottle we've got the bottle stored in here these stay in here we've got a pipe going up and, and or um, going up and it's filling the ship up um, uh, it's got tanks in the ship as well and so the tanks stay in the ship the ship goes to Auckland and it's pumped into the tanks there we'll, so we've got these tanks the big ones there long ones that way out of the ship into there but eventually we're going to make these drone themselves and take themselves there in a big tank again this is a big tank but the real hydrogen tank is inside it there's a cryogenic that keeps the pressure uh and the hydrogen in um okay so um um really um that's that building there i was just explaining how it all comes off the ship yeah, and backs out. The, the, the other ship's uh, cab is up the front, the, the one I'm getting uh, made. Um, so, um, um, yeah, so that's that's uh, the interesting topic at the moment uh, for you people watching what I'm doing here. This is for the people of the world. Your share, your £25 share in this. Uh, I've got to get the websites going uh, because um, nobody there looking after them. I've got no money to pay anybody. And once I get the million, I'll get uh, professional people to do that and to run the business. I'll, I'll, um, Cecile Hoods is here to run the business, but I'm, I really have to get it international straight off the mark. That's the helicopter there. Ten-seater, uh, sitting right there. Uh, Sikorsky. Um, so that's what we need on that uh, ship, so we can fly in and out straight off um, the ship anywhere. I'll put long-range tanks in it take uh, the extra seats out and put uh, uh, six seats and take the other four and put fuel, extra fuel in there so we can go a longer distance um, from here to Australia on it. 
Um, so, yeah, those are the pumps and everything. Um, so, really, I think I've said enough for it.